this is Ilona. I've dropped my car off in the, the garage. We're just going to be there all day having some work done to it. And uh, I am walking home. It's um, just over three miles. They did offer to take me home with a lift, but I said, no, no, I like walking. <laughs> and it's not raining so I will walk and uh, I've come down the road and there's a little pulling lay-by thingy there and uh, people do stop there to walk their dog so I thought I would have a nosy so let's have a look down here it's, uh, it's a bit of a rough track it's not an official track um, but uh, me being a nosy person <laughs> I want to see why people stop and bring their dogs here good job I've got my proper boots on it's a bit chilly this morning right let's have a look I'm not far from home, um, but I thought I would make this uh, little diversion just because I'm a nosy person. Let's have a look where we're coming out. The signs here danger deep water. So we're coming up to a big pond. I can hear the birds chirping I can hear the traffic going by it's quite a busy road so there's the pond now it looks like people come down here in the summer months maybe and picnic or camp because there is some rubbish about someone's uh, been collecting up rubbish there and this is quite a flat area where you could actually pitch a tent so looking out over the water there's lots of birds in the middle and we're going to have to zoom in to see what they are no idea just black spots <laughs> it looks like there's some floating ice over there as well I've got fingerless gloves on and my hands are cold. Now it looks like this is as far as it goes. The path stops here. And uh, it does it does actually go a little bit further up there, but I won't go up there. So I'll turn around go the other way this would be quite nice in the summer let's spend a bit of time down here it's very murky today I've got my sun visor on but <laughs> there's no sun I don't know why there are pallets floating in there maybe there, maybe there's fish in there maybe people come fishing Right, so, let's just have a nosy up here then, while I'm here, and uh, we'll go this way. They say the car will be ready around about five o'clock-ish. It's having a new Catholic converter put on, and uh, I've got a friend lined up to give me a lift back. The garage will ring me 
when it is ready we'll walk this way yes it's going to cost me a few bob that is um, I did consider changing the car but um, because I could afford to but the cars I were looking at um, are really beyond my price range so I would have gone for a bigger car um, the thing is I like Fords and the bigger Fords are pretty pricey flipping expensive actually <laughs> um, so I will stick with the uh, the focus for maybe another year because uh, it's got low mileage it's got a small engine and it does what I want it to do so so I'm spending a bit of money on uh, getting this catalytic converter changed and then we'll be ready for car camping come the spring it's, uh, I think people are still car camping now but it's oh it's so cold so I'm right at the end of this track now it's not going to go any further and uh, I'm going to have to get onto this road which is just up there <laughs> There we go. Now I've got my yellow jacket on because it's a busy road and I can see I can see up the road there there is someone else walking. <laughs> so if you can catch that person there look. Look! That's the road I came down. <laughs> I've got, a, I've got a yellow vest on. Do you want to see it? Ah, there you are. Whoops. Me in my yellow vest so I don't get run over. Thanks for popping in. I'm going to carry on now. I should be home in about half an hour ish. And then I'm going to get a cooked breakfast. So. Thanks for popping in. Bye for now.